Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha and mabuhai. My name is Emmy Ortega Addison, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii. We have, a, we have two very special guests for our program today to help us with our empowerment. But before we do that, I'd like to uh, take a brief moment to thank the entire staff of uh, Think Tech Hawaii for allowing us to uh, come and have a conversation with you to uh, share issues and topics that concerns uh, Filipino Americans, especially here in Hawaii. And today, we will have a conversation to fulfill our five-fold mission. We are here to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower all of our viewers. This morning, I have two very uh, special guests, and they are a wonderful ministering couple, and they are very, very successful in what they do to empower others. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, to you our two guests, uh, Pastora Abigail Corpus, and the other half of the team is Brother Jenimar Corpus. Welcome to Pinoy Power Hawaii. Welcome, Paul. We're going to start our conversation by asking uh, both of them to give us a little bit of a background uh, from both. So I'm going to start with you, Pastora. Uh, please tell us a little bit about uh, your upbringing. Yeah, uh, I came from a very problematic, miserable, and uh, full of problems, trials, family, because my dad was a womanizer before, and she, he was an irresponsible father. And my mom was the only one who is our bread earner and who supported us in our education. And we are six children in the family. Wow. But thank God, Ate Emmy, because that's the time that we came to know the Lord. My dad was the one who came to know the Lord. He became Christian and accepted mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus as his Lord and Savior. And we are totally changed and transformed. So that's the greatest heritage that our dad gave unto us, knowing the Lord. Wow, uh, what a, a honest and uh, candid revelation. You know, uh, watching you and Brother Jan uh, conduct your ministry, uh, it seems like you've never had the uh, problems or trials. But again, um, the real successes in life comes with trials and tri yes. tribulations to make us better. Yes. So, Pastora, I'm going to switch over to uh, Brother Jen. Brother Jen, tell us a little bit more about uh, your upbringing. Uh, Tagalog. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're going to converse in Itaglish, yeah. Ilocano, Tagalog, and English. And uh, yeah. sure, you can certainly uh, do that. Amy, ako din po ay uh, nanggaling po sa isang mahirap na pamilya. Uh, my father is a carpenter and my mother is an overseas contract worker in Hong Kong and uh, Malaysia. At ako po ay uh, the eldest of the three uh, children in the family. Mm -hmm. At uh, I, am, I came from a isang tinatawag nilang isang kahig, isang tukang pamilya. Mm -hmm. But by the grace of God, ay nandun po na talagang we have uh, nalampasan po namin yung mga mga bagay pong yun. Naranasan ko pong naging uh, houseboy, mm -hmm. delivery boy at uh, naging janitor din po ako before na college at uh, naranasan ko rin pong nagpatayan ng hueteng kung alam po niyo yun sa Pilipinas. Yes, uh, anything <laughs> to, to get by, yeah, to buy to, a meal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that, with that uh, Pastor and Brother Jen, if we're talking about survival, mm -hmm. you know, uh, wondering where your next meal is going to come from. Yeah. And you're going to do everything in your power to make sure that your family is fed. Yeah. Narigat iti biyag gay Filipinas kakapsat keng gayem. So uh, we will do everything uh, for to do our best for quest for a better tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being so candid and uh, being so honest. Uh, a lot of times people don't want to talk about these trials and struggles. They just want to hide it or mm -hmm. sweep it under the rug. But in your case, you uh, wanted to share the truth and to give our viewers exactly um, a better understanding of your trials and tribulations to really appreciate uh, where you are now. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so 
I know that uh, you've had a very uh, difficult life with uh, poverty, and uh, I, I, I came from that type of beginning too. We're very, very poor. And um, how did you come to uh, find the Lord? Um, no. Yes, Pastora. Apo. Ako po ate, by the grace and mercy of God, dahil wala na kaming pwedeng malapitan eh, parang impyerno ang bahay. Umaga, hapon, gabi, nag-aaway lagi ang aking mga magulang, mm -hmm. as in, hindi na rin kami nakakapagkonsa sa pag-aaral. Uh, at ang God, mayroong isang pastor, there was a pastor in the life of Pastor Bong Gonzales, our mentor, our teacher, mm -hmm. na i-assign po si Locas Norte. And he was the one so patient and very hardworking to share the word of God to my dad. Mm -hmm. Until such time po na siniran po siya at yung aking tatay ay kahit po pala matigas ang puso at ate, ate Emi mm -hmm. ay napalambot ng Lord. And wow. we are so amazed because he was totally changed and transformed yung uh, dating womanizer, dalawa, tatlong babae mm -hmm. binago ng Diyos. Until such time that she shared to us the love of God because we are so amazed mm -hmm. for the changes of our dad. So we're so curious kung ano talaga ang kanya pong nasimulan. And then we are now totally changed and transformed because of this instrument of God in the life of Reverend Pastor Bong Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. Doon na po nagsimula ate yung magandang relasyon sa pamilya, ang aming tatay, res resp naging responsable na siya, natutulungan na rin niya po kami sa aming pong pag-aaral. But before, talagang wala po siyang pakialam sa amin. Wow, yeah. so uh, your transformation began with uh, an idol, uh, mm -hmm. somebody that wanted to uh, help uh, make a difference in your life yeah. by uh, uh, softening the hardened heart of your father. Yeah, yeah. by the grace of God. Yes. Yeah. Wow, what a remarkable story. Mm -hmm. uh, Brother Jen, can you relate to that? Opo, 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 at ay may kasi noong pong talagang sabi ko nga, ang galing po ako sa isang poverty, uh, poor family, and mm -hmm. uh, talagang pahintuinti po ako ng pag-aaral po noong high school. And uh, that one time na ako po ay uh, dinala po ng aking po uncle sa Manila mm -hmm. at doon po na nag-aral, pinagpatuloy po yung aking pong uh, second year high school noon. And I, I, I served there at uh, parang house buddy po ako doon para mm -hmm. ano po doon. And then after that, at uh, nung po ako nag-aral ng high school, ay meron pong isang din pong uh, pastor po sa isang eskolahan po namin na nag-share po ng Bible study sa amin. And that, mm -hmm. that, that, that day, I came to know the Lord. At uh, naalala ko po yung araw po yun eh, December 16, 1989, Sunday. Uh, and then I accepted the Lord as my Lord and Savior. Nagdun po na po nagbago ang aking pong buhay. Mm -hmm. At nandun po yung promise ng Panginoon na yung sinabi niya sa Jeremiah 29 verse 11, that for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm mm -hmm. you, plans to give you hope and a future. Yung pong pinangawa kong promise ng Panginoon. And on that day, nagbago yung aking pong buhay. Wow, what a beautiful <laughs> promise um, for us to accept the Lord and His unconditional love. Mm -hmm. uh, and from that day forward, your uh, life changed for the better. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can relate to uh, your story because once uh, we accepted the love of God and made uh, Him a part of our daily life, everything uh, changed for the better. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, tell us a little bit about uh, where that change took you as far as uh, education, your career, so that you can uh, better affect other people by the changes or by the positive change that uh, your life uh, turned into. So actually, Poati, I graduated as a uh, uh, registered nurse. I took up Bachelor of Science in Nursing mm -hmm. uh, way back 1994. Uh, 1994 na rin po ako na born again when I accepted the Lord Jesus my Lord, Master and Savior. So habang ako po ay nagtatrabaho as a nurse in a hospital, mm -hmm. uh, that's the time na yung pong mga pasyente na aking pong mga inaalagaan, meron na akong burden sa kanila. Ewan ko po, habang binibigay yung mga gamot, naaawa ko sa kanila, mm -hmm. and I want to pray for them, bagamat hindi pa po ako tinatawag ng Lord sa ministry. And then until such time po na the, when I uh, came from work, 11 o'clock midnight, because natatapos ang duty ko po, 3 o'clock uh, uh, to 11 p.m., mm -hmm. There was just a voice that 
uh, really came in my ear. I said, that's not your world. That's not the thing that I want you to do. Uh, I want you to go out from your convert zone, and I want your life to serve me. Nung unang hindi ko po maunawaan, sabi ko, Lord, ako po ay nakakapag-share sa mga pasyente, nipapag-pray sila. Mm-hmm. Pero parang lagi po ate, every time that I uh, came from work, parang may mga uh, ano ko naririnig na hindi yan ang pinapagawa ko sa'yo. Until such time ate, the Lord called me to pastor San Nicolas Ilocos Norte. So nag, ano na po ako, nag-resign na po ako as a nurse in Mariano Marcos Memorial Hospital. And people keep telling me, Abi, ang ganda-ganda ng sahod mo, trabaho mo, bakit ka nag-resign? Mm-hmm. Eh, ganito-ganyan. So sabi ko, because I want to help people to know the Lord. So na po nagsimula atin na nagpastor ako sa isang church sa San Nicolas Ilocos Norte. And then, then at that time, inintras ako ng Lord ng another 10 churches. So sunod-sunod na po yaan. And then the Lord called me to Hawaii. So yun na po, dire-diretso na po yung pagkatawag ng Lord sa akin. What a wonderful uh, progression. Yeah. Um, not that uh, nursing uh, is not worthy or rewarding because it's uh, also part of caregiving and mm-hmm. also ministering to the sick mm-hmm. and afflicted. Uh, but the Lord had bigger plans for you as far as uh, ministering in a bigger picture. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, uh, the rest is history. <laughs> so, uh, Brother Jen, were you... Uh, uh, a part of uh, this initial uh, building of the church, or when did you come in into uh, Pastor's uh, life? Ako, um, ako po ay dumating po noong pong, uh, 2013, kasi mm-hmm. dati po ako po ay nagbabarko po sa barko. Ako po ay nag- oh. uh, seaman po ako dati for 15 mm-hmm. years. At wow. talagang uh, doon po nandun po ako sa barko, tapos tinawag po siya, napupunta kami ng Hawaii, sabi ni... Pastor Abi non. Tapos, uh-huh. tapos magano lang mga 3 months kasi restore ko lang yung church sabi niya. Mm-hmm. Kasi nga mayroon dalawang dalawang taon nang naiwan po dito out and of uh, out, out of 150 people mm-hmm. okay. ang leadership po ng Jesus Lord Church Worldwide sa Manila mm-hmm. ay tinawagan po si Pastor Abi and gusto nilang pariparin po si Pastor Abi ng uh, in two weeks time. Uh, talagang nandun ako sa barko. Sige, pauwi ako pero parang nagano ako. Pero nandito nga tapos nung 3 months na pinag uh, Pinarminant na siya doon, hindi sila pa uuwiin kasi nga already, she already restored the church. At pati yung anak ko, kaya talagang siguro tawag ng Panginoon. After one year po, ay uh, pumunta rin po ako dito to help Pastor Abby in her uh, devotion, in mm-hmm. her vocation po sa church. So, inassistan ko po siya sa preaching, sa teaching din po. And uh, driver din po niya ako sa <laughs> personal, po, assistant. personal assistant <laughs> that uh, runs around and does <laughs> everything. Uh, well, you might be called the errand boy because uh, you're the one that uh, dots every I and crosses every T, di ba? Yeah. And uh, the Lord's work would not be complete if mm-hmm. uh, we didn't have people doing some of the menial work, mm-hmm. but it's important for our progression. Mm-hmm. So. What a very, very interesting uh, story that you are sharing just by uh, adding or accepting the Lord and uh, uh, making the Lord a part of our daily life. Mm-hmm. And from that point on, your your life just miraculously, uh, it was like the speed of light, mm-hmm. you know, the, uh, that uh, you went from very poor and not having anything to uh, being blessed with uh, blessings that you have no more room to receive, (laughs) but there will always uh, be room uh, for that because we we have a bigger picture. So we will be right back with our conversation, Pinoy Power Hawaii with Brother uh, Jen Corpus and Pastora Abigail Corpus. I'm getting older. Do I need to worry about falling? Yes, you do. Each year, one in four people 65 and older will experience a fall, and many will be serious. The majority of falls happen at home, so remove things that could make you trip and install handrails to keep you steady. To learn more about the steps you can take to help prevent a fall, please talk to your doctor. You can also visit aarpfoundation.org or medicaremadeclear.com slash falls. This message was brought to you by United Healthcare and AARP Foundation. When it comes to managing your pain, you have a choice. Don't mask your pain with opioids. Choose to treat it with the help of a physical therapist. Physical therapists treat pain through movement and exercise. No warning labels required. 
and you get to actively participate in your care. Choose to improve your health without the risks of opioids. Choose physical therapy. Welcome back to Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson, and uh, our uh, show uh, consists of empowerment. We want to share real stories, like uh, the story uh, being shared by Pastora Abigail Corpus and Brother Jennifer Corpus, uh, their trials and tribulations. And by sharing uh, these stories uh, with viewers, we hope to uh, fulfill our fivefold mission. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and the big picture is to empower. So we're going to continue, continue our journey. Uh, Pastora Abby and uh, Brother Jan Corpus were uh, privileged or were given the chance to immigrate to Hawaii and uh, to share the precious Word of God by ministering to the people of Hawaii. How did that get started? Uh, because you're coming from a, to a foreign uh, land where everything is uh, not familiar. How was that transition, uh, Pastora? Apo, ako po ate, dumating po ako 2012. I don't know how to drive. And of course, we started from two people. I don't know how to start a church because it's so hard. Akala ko po mahahabol ko pa po yung mga tao, wala na po pala. They already scattered and go to different churches until such time po that I totally depend on God. I keep praying and asking the guidance of God because I pray to God, Lord, if you will not still do miracles within three months, I want now to go home. Kasi ako pa po yung nauna, mas nahuli po siya ate. Uh -huh. So, so you were here by yeah. Kaya ang ginawa ko po, sinubukan kong matutong mag-bus, uh, mag-follow mag up sa mga tao. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, talagang decided na sila to leave the church because probably they want they they don't want the transition the leadership or another Pastor again. So, talagang ang Diyos napakabuti. He does a very miraculous way. So, I pray to God, Lord, mm -hmm. uh, magdala ka ng mga tao na wala ng direction ng buhay. Yung talagang makikita ang miracle mo. Until such time, hindi ana yet Christian Ate Emmy and uh, they need prayer. Uh, some of our friends ay pinakilala sa atin. Binisita natin sa may pinagpray. Mag-asawang maghihiwalay na on that day. So, they already call the realtor. Nag-usap na sila pa paano makakati yung kanil ari -ari. But I just share the word of God to them and prayed and by the miracle of God they were restored yeah what a miraculous yeah. story <laughs> you know to a point where the at the break yeah. on that day of breakup yeah. you were able to talk some sense into them yeah. you were able to uh, soften their heart and also uh, touch their mind their yeah. body their soul their spirit and uh, they were able to overcome yeah because their, of the Lord Jesus they accepted him as their Lord master and Savior yung isa pa po yung na diagnosed na dwarfism ang anak uh, tatlong specialist na pong nilapitan, talagang may lahi po sila kasi may kapatid po siyang ganon. Mm -hmm. So, nawawala sila ng pag-asa. But I keep on telling to them, Mark 11, 24, whatever you ask in prayer, as long as you believe it by faith, shall be given. Hanggat hindi pa lumalabas ang bata, believe it. So, they keep crying. Until such time ate na, on the day of that delivery, tumawag po yung mister, umiiyak, akala ko kung ano nang nangyari. Mm -hmm. Pastora, God is so great. Even the doctor cannot believe it. Normal na normal ang bata. Ata, no abnormalities. Wow. So sila po ati ang mga pinadala ng Diyos na naging mm -hmm. uh, members and then became workers in the church. They experienced the great miracles from God. Truly a miracle by uh, listening to uh, a lot of the examples uh, through your ministry. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know a lot of people come to you because uh, they know the healing power of God yes. uh, that transcends through you. And uh, later on, uh, I will ask Pastor Abigail to uh, end with a prayer. But before that, uh, Brother Jen, what uh, miraculous things have you witnessed while ministering and sharing uh, the precious Word of God to uh, the members or to those that need it most? Uh, yung pong time po at Amy, no, nandito po kami, na nagpinagpipray po namin sila, at doon nga, every Sunday po, meron po tayong uh, first Sunday, meron po tayong anointing of oil sa kanila. Mm -hmm. At talagang nakita po natin yung ibang, marami na sila, hindi sila mabilang eh, mga kalalakihan din. Mm -hmm. At meron po yung isang pong politiko from the Philippines na talagang uh, 
Uh, siya po ay gumagawa ng mga ginagawang hindi maganda po. Ewan ko kung ano yung mga background niya, sinabi niya noon. Tapos nung pong nakita ko po yung transformation ng Panginoon. Mm -hmm. At talagang nung pong pinag natin po siya, nilihenas po natin siya, talagang umiyak po ang yung, yung, yung taong niyon. Mm -hmm. At talagang sinabi, sinusuko ang aking buong buhay sa iyo, Panginoon Jesus. Talagang nandun po. At uh, namimiss ako, amiss ako sa Panginoon. Kaya sabi ko, Lord God, God is doing miracles until now, again, again and again. again. Yes. At talagang kahit matigas yung puso ng taong yun, talagang kaya niyang palambutin dahil po nandun po yung humility sa kanyang mm -hmm. taong, ang Panginoon. Amen. Wow, all these uh, wonderful revelation, all these uh, true to life uh, stories and uh, struggles that uh, you come across uh, among people that are really searching and looking for answer. And uh, uh, there it is. He manifests to us that there is all hope if we believe mm -hmm. and hang on to that faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to move on and um, ask you about what else would you like to uh, happen in your life, the bigger picture uh, besides what you're doing now. What's the bigger picture that uh, you would like to accomplish? On a bigger scale. For me, po Ate Emmy, I just want to tell people that the greatest and the noblest achievement, according to our spiritual director, Brother Ed Villanueva, the greatest and noblest achievement in this planet Earth is to know thy God truthfully and personally, to love Him passionately and wholeheartedly, and to serve Him with integrity and excellence. At alam mo, pag makilala ang mga tao ang Diyos, they know that there is a miracle working God healer, provider, that even though trials will come in their way, if their faith uh, always uh, on God, they will experience peace, joy, contentment, and of course, that uh, joy that cannot be bought by money. Priceless. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. because according to Tony Robbins at the Emmy's quotation is this, uh, success without genuine fulfillment is ultimate failure. And you can also have the fulfillment at the end mm -hmm. when you accept the Lord Jesus as your Lord, Master, and Savior. Because wala nang pinakamagandang buhay at the kundi ang ibigay mong buhay mo sa Diyos. Siyang mag-direct. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I like that quote that uh, mm -hmm. you quoted. Uh, it's also found in our Bible that uh, faith without works is yes. dead. You know, even if you have faith but you don't act on it or you don't do things towards building or strengthening that faith, mm -hmm. then it's almost... Uh, worthless, useless. Diba, Brother Opo. Jen? Opo. Opo. Mm -hmm. Kasi yung po, kung hindi mo ginawang priority ang Panginoon sa buhay mo, and you did not make your creator at the center of your life, eh, ano eh, kumbaga, useless ang lahat ng mga tagumpay mm -hmm. ng ating pong buhay. So, yun po, yung ating pong sinishare sa ating pong mga kapatiran na talagang the greatest treasure na ating pong makukuha po sa mundo pong ito, mm -hmm. hindi po ang kayamanan, hindi po ang, ang uh, yung pong uh, fame, Restage. yung pong uh, properties, or uh, ang pong greatest treasure po natin ay yung pong, meron pong, ay yung ating pong Diyos ay nandito po sa ating pong puso, na nananahan sa ating pong In buhay. our hearts. In our hearts yeah. po. I totally, I couldn't agree with you more, Brother Dan, Pastor Abby, but unfortunately, society uh, kind of dictates to us that success is measured by the worldly <laughs> possessions that we have. Mm -hmm. You know, what kind of car do we drive? Uh, what places do we travel to? Yes. What homes do we live in? Mm -hmm. And uh, other worldly things that uh, this world is uh, made up of. Mm -hmm. uh, but. I agree with you when you say that the great greatest uh, treasures are the ones that we build up in our eternal home, mm -hmm. uh, which is being with our Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, the size of uh, Pastora Abbey, um, some people uh, make a joke and said, oh, uh, is this the uh, father and daughter team? You know, I'm sorry to bring in the picture, but that's reality, diba? Right? Accepted ko po yun. Okay. <laughs> You're the father and she's the daughter. Napagkamalian na po kami dati. With the, uh, the little bit of time remaining, would you kindly uh, pray for uh, our... Uh, listeners and viewers, those that are uh, maybe uh, needing some healing at this time, if you could uh, take a minute and pray for uh, our well-being and uh, for uh, the goodness of everyone. So, Pastora. Okay, Ate, let's pray. 
Father, thank you so much for this great opportunity to share your love to these people, even our viewers, O oh God. Lord, we don't know what are their situations in life. Probably they were hopeless, faithless, O oh Lord. They were suffering from severe depression. Lord, right now, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, continue, Lord, to let your touch be upon them. And they will know you more and accept you more as their Lord, Master, and Savior. To those who are watching right now, Right now, I believe that the Lord will do something great to you this morning. Continue to bless them and even, Lord, those sick people. Lord, continue to stretch forth your miraculous hand be upon them. If they were already surrendered by doctors, suffering from cancer, suffering from any severe sickness and diseases. Father, you have said in thy word, Mark 11, 24, whatever we ask in prayer, as long as we believe it, by faith it shall be given. And by your wounds, according to Isaiah chapter 53, verse 4. Five, they will be healed. Take away any sickness and diseases among them and let your healing touch be upon them. And even, Father God, those families ruined by the enemy, continue to unite them with your love that cannot be broken. Even, Lord, to Mom Emmy, continue also to bless her entire family, the whole Anderson family. Continue also to bless them with the good health, with joy, love, and peace upon them. Father, thank you so much, Lord. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' Jesus' name this we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. After listening to Pastor Abby uh, preach, I have no doubt that uh, she walks with God in um, everything that uh, she does. So uh, how could our viewers uh, be a part of your ministry? Uh, you have a website you can share? Yeah. Uh, opo, kung gusto niyo pong makinig din po ng uh, ating pong radio program, uh, ito po ang um, 6.50 AM Pinoy Power Radio, the most powerful radio station here in Hawaii. Uh, every Friday po, 12 noon to 1 o'clock PM. And we have also our live streaming every Sunday, three times uh, uh, every Sunday po, tatlong services po tayo, 7.30, uh, 9 o'clock, and 4 o'clock. At ito po, we are on the Jesus is Lord Hawaii chapter. This is our web website. Kaya kung gusto nyo manood, gusto nyo pong makinig, just tune in in our 6.50 AM Pinoy Power Radio and the Jesus is Lord Church Hawaii chapter. Facebook po, nakalive po tayo every Sunday. And it all, it reached almost, uh, how many nations, brother Chen? Iba't ibang nations po. And we have yes. ang pinakamalaking viewers po natin at is ating Sunday service. Nagulat po kami. 95,000 people wow. and 300 shares ang nag-share. So sa grace po ng Lord, kumikilos ang Panginoon sa kanila po, Ate Emmy. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, the Lord is so uh, good. I know He is my uh, Redeemer and uh, He does answer our prayers. We want to thank you for um, helping us uh, fulfill our empowerment. Uh, we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and empower. And we invite you again, um, our friends, our family, our viewers, to uh, tune in every Tuesday at 10 a.m. here on Think Tech Hawaii for more empowering stories. Thank you, Pastor Abby. Thank you, Brother thank you, Jen. Thank you, Dean Pauline, May, for the opportunity. May God bless us all. Maraming salamat. Mabuhay. Aloha.